What a beautiful day here off Amrata. A whole school of them. You happy? My heart. You love dolphins. I love dolphins. <laughs> That dolphin went mahi. You found dolphin. Bottom nose dolphin. <laughs> other time. Other dolphin. It is always cool to see flipper though. Hello. Oh, jumper. Oh my god. And dolphin will do that. They'll swim by the bow of the boat and roll there and play around. There's a little baby one there too. Look at that little baby one. A couple babies. I was literally <laughs> Your day's made. My day is completely made. Yeah, Don't even have to catch fish. Welcome to Almorada. Mayo. <laughs> what was yesterday? Uh, it was Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you was yesterday. And what are we doing today? <clears throat> um, I don't know. We're going offshore to see what we can see. Well, either deep water grouper tilefish or possibly some mahi, right? That's that right. Plan? Yeah. We want bottom fish first. Jocelyn, what do you want to catch to eat? Mahi. I want to spear mahi. My goal is to jump in and tap one. All right, a beautiful day. Cinco de Mayo, I'm sure about Mark. Grouper and tile fish are the target. Deep drop season's open. You know, it's May 5th now to open up May 1st. I just got a tangle there because I was trying to film and talk, so that didn't work too good. Let's see. This might be an outtake, it looks like. Yeah, go ahead. Alrighty, all the way down to the bottom. Over 500 feet deep. Yeah, like that. A little speed, just a little bit of thumb pressure, not much. Wait, why is this on this side? Conventional reels are like that. And you can't change them. All right, you going down, Sassy? Ready? Yep, go get them. Over 500 feet. Yippee. Hang cranking. Grouper and towel fish, that's the target. Beautiful day. And we got a cushion, you guys. If you don't have one, that's a super simple piece of equipment that goes on the back of the rod butt. If you don't have one, so you don't need get a rod one. belt. You need to get one, just like that. And you can fight your fish. Yeah, avoid the bruises. On the bottom. You're on the bottom. Are you ready? Rod holder. Yep. New rod holder from Tigris. Got them installed. Just try cranking on it, see if you got them on there. Just start cranking on it. Keep cranking. Fast. Lift up. You got them or no? No. No? Okay, go back down. No bite, Sarah? No. Not yet. Oh, there he is, biting it. Try cranking on him again. I think he's still biting it. We'll crank it's it for time to lift up. Might be a small one chewing on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything big on there. Nah, just keep going back down, yeah. But sometimes the small ones attract the big ones. Yeah, try cranking on it now. That feels a little bigger. 
They got him. Good job. Should I bring it up? Nah. Huh? No, I think he's hooked. Leave him down there and try to get to. Put it back down? Yeah. Just because it's a small one if it's on there. It's a little tile fish, probably. It's the most confusing fishing ever. Bring it up. Put it down. Bring it up. Put it down. <laughs> Should I start cranking on it? Crank. Nice and easy. There up you to go. you. You can either bring him up or you can leave him down there. Oh, oh, that's a good one, huh? Just hold, if he's taking line, just hold steady. There you go. That's the right one there. That might be the grouper. That might be the big yellow edge. There you go. Lift up easy and then wind down when he can. Two or three turns. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's him, Jocelyn. I only got 550 feet. That's the one we want right there. That's, that's, that's probably either a really big tile or a grouper. I think it's a grouper. There you go. Just get one crank at a time. Yeah. Perfect. Just like that. Perfect. He is angry. We've got light braid on there, you guys, a Pen Fathom 40. And that's our uh, 20 pound kite rod, which we use for deep drop bottom fishing as well. A nice soft tip. Oh, that's him. This is him. This might be the fish of the day. <laughs> nope, you gotta catch something, Sarah. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> keep coming, keep coming. All right, yeah, just lift up nice and easy. There you go. And we'll check back with y'all in a few minutes. Got 500 feet to go. They're starting to bite. These fish are open May through uh, August. So blue line tile fish and snowy grouper. We don't do a lot of deep dropping in this area the rest of the year because you can't keep them. So when the blue line tiles are open, that's when we start fishing for them and get some yellow edge mixed in occasionally, yellow edge grouper, snowies, um, some other fish as well. But blue line tiles and snowies now are the one of the fish that we'll target. How's it feel sitting in the shade holding the camera while we do all the work? Um, he's still on there, huh? Yeah. He's angry. Oh, Taking line. And Jocelyn just passed a real estate exam yesterday. Applause. Yay! So you can buy a house from her now, right? Yep. You can buy a house in the fabulous Florida Keys if you want one. Come fishing with us. Get a house from her. Or rentals, right? Vacation rentals? Or vacation rentals. Or just go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or check her YouTube channel out. What's the name? Jocelyn. Jocelyn Margella. Margella. There you go. How original. <laughs> Sarah's had a people don't think my name is Stan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone nice everyone easy. sees Nick and they're like, oh hi Stan. Because Stan's fam. Oh yeah. So they think it's like Stan's fam. Yeah. No. Hey Stan, I just get used to it now. <laughs> Sarah's hooked up. Doubled up. Great. Up to you if you want to go back down. Oh, we're going down. There you go. I'm greedy. Oh yeah. She's going back down. Jocelyn's getting closer on hers. Jocelyn, we got an Almaco Jack. That's a raw deal. Almaco Jack. Look at the parasites on them. Well, was not expecting that, you guys. But you never know what to expect, I guess. Bye bye, buddy. So long. Sassy's coming up for dinner. It ain't no jack. Thank goodness. <laughs> Brought Jocelyn all the way out here. She's never done this before. And you put her on your jack hole. <laughs> she did catch a jack. Almost got it. <laughs> ah! And he got away. All right, let's do something else. Stay all your bait, no fish. <laughs> we are hooked up, you guys. We got on three hooks. So I'm going back down and trying to get another one. I feel like the hook's in. I'm going to go back down. It's a gamble. I uh, lost mine when I did that. <clears throat> that is true. <laughs> It's like 100 degrees out. We have no fish. They keep getting off. Sarah's getting a bite. I won't eat the bait. He's a little, a little dude. I've got a little tile fish. It is so hot out here, you guys. Summer is here. You finally got him? I wrestled with whatever this thing is for 10 minutes. It's got to be just a little tile fish or something. But we don't have anything on the boat at this point, so we'll take it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hope it's not a jack. Nope. First one's always the hardest to catch. Please stay on there. I lost mine. We need dinner, Sarah. Is it hot out here? Brutal? Yeah, we're gonna go Brutal. spear some dinner. This is, we need to get under the water. I agree. Well, I'll set my boat, you can get under. This summer's gonna be a hot one, I think. Right, yeah. Yay! Hey, you got a tailfish. Oh, you got two, got a double header. Yes. Good All job. Right, we can go do I got none, she got two. Good job, sassy blue line tailfish. Really good to eat. AKA gray towel fish. Small ones, but there's no size on them and they're still, they'll still eat, you know, two or three pounders. 
We were hoping for some eights or tens, but we'll take those. On the board, first tiles this season. Good job. First tiles on the boat. That's true. New species. Pretty colors in them. Sasty, what do we got here? We've been looking for hours and hours and hours. Just kidding, like 15 minutes, and we found one. <laughs> we'll take oh them. More might swim up though. It is pretty out here. Now if we get them, this could be the first mahi on the boat. There we go, drag them on up here. Oh yeah, angry. What'd you get for being hungry by yourself? Little yeah. Game. All right, yeah, try to grab them and swing without losing them. Oh, you don't want to give up yet. You can tighten and drag half a turn. Yeah, there's a little bit of leader in there. We'll see if Sarah can flip them in here. Red low. Perfect. Good job. We need a picture of that thing. Let's get a picture of it. Get some color. Ouch. Can you grab them? Grab them. Let's grab them. Grab them. Grab them. Ow! Push them in and grab them. Like there you foster. go. <laughs> a foster. <laughs> Sarah, what happened to Nick your said, face? Nick said, grab the mahi, and I was like, he looks like he's still alive. Wait, but better uh, yet, they got my mouth. Oh, my sandwich, got it on my sandwich. Ew. First mahi on the boat. A bloody mess. <laughs> right up there, you guys, we found a blue barrel. We saw some triple tail on it. We're gonna try to catch them. You never know, might be some mahi here too. Lots of life here, lots of jacks. But yeah, don't let the jacks get it, Sarah. And Mahi may swim up here too. Sarah's got her wetsuit on in case she jumps in. She wants to try to spear a Mahi today. You got the bigger one there? Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna keep her. Yeah, let's let the thing sink down. See, if the, see what happens. Where's all the Mahi? There ought to be a 50 Mahis here. <laughs> the jacks got gotcha. you. Oh, there he is. Get, get your bait from that bigger triple tail. Oh, let him eat it, let him eat it, let him eat it, let him eat it. Swing him in, swing him in, swing him in. In the boat. Good yeah. job. That other one might be bigger too. Well, that was easy. Good job, Jocelyn. Yeah, boy. Yeah, flipping and dipping. Bear hook, you guys, 5-0 VMC. The fish are so hungry, they will eat a bear hook. Let's see how long it takes. Come on. <laughs> so you just saw less than a second to catch a fish. Little Almaco Jack. But now if we can do it again, that'll be the real test of uh, the test of the bear hook there. No bait, you guys. Right in the water, one, two, three. Back up again, there you go. <laughs> oh, in the boat he goes, so. The fish are biting, you guys. They're hitting. Oh yeah, he's angry. Bye bye, buddy. No bait challenge. I guess that one bigger one seems close to being a keeper. But that barrel, you guys, is like its own little ecosystem. There's structure here, it's the bait fish hide here, the bigger fish hide here. Surprising there's no mahi here. Someone might have found it. Eat that bait! <laughs> Somebody might have found it earlier. take this piece of plastic home and get it out of the ocean. There's a bunch of jacks in it. Sarah caught a bunch of jacks. Are they jacks or triggers? They're chubs. They're like chubs. Little chubs, you guys, out here in the middle oh, of the ocean. Cool this is a nice barrel. Oh, there's two em. triple tail in it. <laughs> Sarah just caught two triple tail in here, you guys. Look at that. We got two triple tails in the bucket. That's, That's pretty cool. <laughs> We've got something on you guys. We moved out a little bit deeper. Found that barrel, which is really cool. A lot of fish and life on that. Finally got another bite on the deep drop, Rob, but the bottom fish ain't biting too good for us. I was hoping it was something good, but I don't know. It might be something small. He's a long way to go. He's a thousand feet. I just don't want to jack your Yeah, just keep driving. Just follow, follow the line. He's, he's thumping now, though. 
Could be a nice grouper, tilefish, no telling. Hopefully it's not a little dogfish, they're like a dog shark. We don't want those things. He's pulling fast. I'm just gonna bring mine in and grab the boat. Check back later, it's gonna be at least half an hour. We got color. He's blowing up, you guys. What do we got? Either a golden pile or a grouper. He's shaking his head, you guys. Here he comes. Look at him, he's about to pop. There he is. Nice oh, snowy, guys. Oh, nice. We got our grouper we wanted. And a rosy. Two rosies. And a rosy? I think two. Two rosies. Two little rosies and a grouper? Yes. A triple header. Yes, guys. Things are looking up. A thousand feet of water. Oh, yeah. Oh, come here. There we go, you guys. On the hand crank. Two little tiny rosies and that thing. Whew. That's what it's about right there. <laughs> it is so hot out here, you guys. There's no wind. It's like 100 degrees, but that's a really nice snowy from really deep water. And uh, a couple of black belly rose fish. That's a black belly rosy, and this one's a little different. This one here's got the black throat, so you can tell what that one is. Black belly rose fish, he's a small one. This one's very similar, but he's just a little different. Barely hooked in the lip there, but. This is the one we wanted, you guys. This is what we came out here for. Cranked a five deep drops today, so average is 700 feet. So 3,500 feet of line we cranked to catch this one here. Let's see this you one. You want to do it again or are you done? I'm done. <laughs> I'm good. I even put in the holder. I cheated. But a little 60 VMC circle hook, you guys, a piece of squid. That's all it took. But that's him right there. Nice snowy. You found a dead fish. I did. Where'd it go? Right here. Sarah found a dead fish. We're gonna check it out. It might be an orange roughy. I never found one, but I know people have. Hopefully she doesn't uh, knock me off the boat. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if that's what it is or not. It is. It is, it's weird. It's really the map. Oh, yeah, just a nice example, there you go. There it is. The orange roughy. People find these things floating once in a while. James caught one once. Oh my God, his teeth are super sharp there. Look at that thing. Look at this thing. Is it a grouper or is it a snapper? It's an orange roughy. I know, but it looks like a hybrid. Yeah, I've never caught one, but I know people have found them floating before and James caught one recently. Can you eat them? Like, can you keep them? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Just look how big his mouth is. And his teeth are super rough in there. I wonder if somebody <laughs> caught him and he got off. And he might have came off and floated up. Good find, Captain. Treasure. This is a portable dive system called Nomad, made by Blue. And I cannot wait to use this. It's battery operated, it's user friendly. You can just pick it up and jump on the boat. Came with a cool backpack, you already saw that. But we're out here at Alligator Lighthouse and we're gonna jump in the water and try this thing out. Every time a Nomad is purchased, Blue makes a donation to 1% for the Planet, which is an ocean-minded nonprofit that works towards saving beautiful paradises like the one around us. This is called the smart rag. So it's attached to a 30 foot hose and then the hose goes to the compressor and the compressor floats in the water. So we're gonna drop the compressor in the water and you put this, the regulator on, which we'll show you.
got out of the water and we had a great time. We saw so many fish. The life was amazing. It's a beautiful day. The water was crystal clear. This Nomad is so easy to use. Check the link in the description below if you want to buy one. I'm going to put the link in there so you can go look at them. It's a couple days later, we are ready to cook up this fish. We are cooking the triple tail and snowy grouper. Snowy grouper is best if you let it sit for a day or two. It's more tender, so that's what we did. Um, we've spent the past couple days on the water. It's been gorgeous here. I'm tired, but I'm excited to finally eat this fish. We are going to cook it lazy style. If you know, you know. If you don't, lazy style is famous here in Isla Mirada. It's a panko breaded and fried fish and you put scallions, tomatoes, and green onions, tomatoes, I think they're called scallions, tomatoes and Parmesan cheese on them. And then we're also going to put it over cavatappi noodles, which is um, a square grouper special. So we're kind of incorporating both things. But to start, we are going to make our key lime butter sauce, which is key for both of these recipes. So this recipe I actually found online and I've used it. It's super good. So you start with a cup of water in your pan and then we are going to put a quarter cup of white wine in with it and some key lime juice. I like to use Nellie and Joe's. It also makes the best key lime pies. So we're gonna put a quarter cup of this in. It calls for a tablespoon of lime juice, but I think that's a lot. So I'm going to start with a little more than a half of a tablespoon. All right, so I'm going to let this simmer and cook down for a little bit. And in the meantime, we're going to start on our fish. So I have flour and egg wash and the breadcrumbs. So we're going to put it in the flour first, then the egg wash breadcrumbs and fry it in some olive oil. Flour, egg, breadcrumb on the plate. I hired a sous chef, Franker. All right, I'm, so I'm, I'm gonna finish up Frank's the sauce. Here. It's been simmering down for a little while. I'm gonna put some garlic powder in it, and then you put in white pepper, and we're gonna start melting some butter in. And this fish is beautiful. Thank you, I caught it myself. Delicately place in the oil. Last time Jocelyn and Frank were cooking, we were on Star Island in the Bahamas. That's right. What were we cooking? Fish. Fish. <laughs> on the beach, and I caught a bonefish. Rough life, Franker. Right? Was. Yes. Okay, so I have a cornstarch slurry, just cornstarch and water. I'm going to slowly add it. So let's see. And let that simmer for a little bit more and thicken up. That I think I'm done really quick. Check this out, you guys. Jocelyn just made a killer meal. Like she said, it's kind of a local recipe down here. It's gonna be delicious, I can tell. Triple tail and snowy grouper, good job. Now we gotta try and see how it tastes. Claire likes it. Claire's an animal, she's an animal. Like it, Claire? How's that pork though? 
presentation, 10 out of 10. Awesome. Really good. Did you approve, Michael? Yeah, uh -huh. definitely. Excellent job, Jocelyn. Thanks, Frank. Very good. Now, crunchy on the outside mm. and yummy on the inside. Doesn't get any better. White, flaky, delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Jocelyn. You killed it. Sassy, what you think? I was behind the camera the whole time, but this does look amazing. Jocelyn did a great job. So this is a cross between Lazy Days and Square Grouper, which is two of our favorite restaurants. So it's our own, like, her own mm. hybrid of both of those mm. recipes. Mm. Looks awesome. Mm. Claire seems to mm. like it. Mm. What do you think? It's way better than both of them. Like, good? Yeah. Do you like it? No. Is it yummy? Do you want to tell everybody to smash the like button? Smash the like button. There you go. Last because they were trying to fit. Gone. Clean plates. It's all gone. I can also tell you. And that's all we got for you guys. Delicious yeah. meal. Michael, I'm back for seconds. Frank, did you get seconds? No, man, I'm trying to get skinny, brother. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it was a feast. Check her channel out, you guys. Jocelyn Marzella. We'll put a link below. And uh, come on out here to Bud and Mary's. Check it out in Almorada. Thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. If you want any merch, check out the website, stansfishing.com. And we'll see you guys next time. The fish tank got water in today. We're going to put a little bit more in there because we got to get some water in the sump. But hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll get some uh, rocks in there and some fish in there. So we'll see you guys Angel next time. Fish. Thanks for watching. <laughs>